Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Right off the bat, I want to go ahead and give a big old shout out to my Libras out there. We are officially in Libra season here in Western astrology. So ha very, very happy birthday to the Libras out there. I also want to go in and slip in a little uh, early little happy birthday to the uh, October Scorpios. Yes, happy birthday to you guys. We will be entering your season next. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that because these are general readings, the situations can go either or, okay? It can go either way. Now, I am specifically speaking to the zodiac sign in question, so mostly the message is going to be for them. But if you are cross-watcher, say, for example, or you are what you are you do have the sign that the, that is in question in the reading that you're watching and yet the story that i'm telling is flipped is vice versa then go ahead and flip it for yourself okay place it as it fits into your life but please be very careful not to place things or try and force things that don't fit into your story or your situation into the into positions because that's just going to confuse you and throw you off okay so another thing that i want to mention um uh, oh, first, actually, what I want to mention is I'm doing a little bit something a little bit differently this month. Um, I had been using the Sacred Rebels Oracle for a few months, which was doing great. But because we're now in fall and it's October, I wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, and I got the brilliant inspiration to use the Fairy Forest Oracle deck this month. And I'm really super excited for you guys to see what comes out. Because in some of these readings, they're all pre-recorded um, before I record this this intro but uh for some of these readings the oracle guidance that comes out from this deck is so spot on it's a little scary <laughs> okay um also the other thing that i want to mention especially for those of you that are new if you are new to the channel what's up thank you so much for tuning in welcome to the family but here at divine conversations we do not focus on love yes sometimes love will come out uh if necessary and I, in no way am I trying to stop that from happening. But the general focus or the main focus here on Divine Conversations is to focus on bringing yourself into a sense of union with yourself, bringing to yourself into a sense of wholeness with yourself, and also just having a conversation with spirit, all right? So what's coming through in these messages for the monthlies, even for the dailies, if you check out Morning Coffee, the messages that come through are just a conversation. What does spirit have for you at that time what does spirit want you to know for that time period or that cycle in your life that you're going through all right with that said keep in mind that all of these readings are timeless yes so just because this is dated for the month of october it doesn't mean it has to resonate for you in october you could come across this reading in february of 2020 and beyond and it may still resonate for you okay time is an illusion and energies are fluid all right so just take it as it resonates if it resonates for you at that time then take it if it doesn't don't worry about it come back later maybe it will all right, guys. <sighs> so with that said, I think let's just get straight to it. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for October, October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, Leo. So <clears throat> we have your pre-shuffle energies here. Okay. And it's so crazy because everybody seems to be going through this period of um, transformation and shifting into new endeavors and new realities all that kind of stuff um what you have in your pre-shuffle here is the seven of pentacles the page of cups and the knight of pentacles <clears throat> with the overall energy being the nine of wands okay so with the seven of pentacles and the, and let's go with let's go here seven of pentacles page of cups it seems that you have come to a point a view of understanding what it is you've been through maybe why you've been some through something the way you have uh, or the way that it's gone down and that, that's not necessarily that's not necessary that may be the reality for some of you for some of you you're just like okay lesson learned I know I don't want this that or the other thing anymore the seven of pentacles is very much an energy about learning through the contrast so I don't I, I have enough contrast to know that I don't want this anymore so I'm with the dreamer energy of the page of cups you're saying to yourself okay so what is it do that I do want all right, you're allowing yourself to dream about what it is you want to move towards next, Knight of Pentacles. And it doesn't feel like you're trying to move all that quickly. All right, slow and steady wins the race. You might actually be in an energy 
of understanding that what it is that you truly want is going to take time. You may even be on the, under the understanding of the fact that um, you, oh shoot, I had it. Oh, divine timing, okay. Um, no, I really did have something and now it's completely lost. I come, it's, it's escaped me. It's escaped me. But um, I don't feel like you're, you're, you're trying too hard or you're, you're, you're trying to move too quickly. And if maybe you are in a little bit of a hasty energy, you might need to take heed of this Knight of Pentacles. Um, I just feel like you've come to the understanding, the conscious awareness of what it is you truly desire out of life. You may even be in a better position to understand how to get it right? Like uh, um, um, mastering manifestation or the, the laws of the universe or, or that kind of thing. And so now you're willing to slowly but surely uh, achieve or build the better in contrast to what you've experienced in the past. Because it really does with this nine of wands, it looks like you've been through the ringer here, Leo. And, and I, I'm getting an energy. I'm hearing that you're not really backing down either. You know, you're just changing direction. And for some of you, this absolutely does feel like you are now consciously making the decision to go with the flow, to take the path of least resistance. For some of you, maybe your ego had gotten the best of you in the past saying, I can take this. This is near impossible, but I'm, I'm so-and-so. I can do this. And, and that's not necessarily the worst energy, but also I think it's just maybe for a small amount of you, maybe there was a bit of pride that got into the way that, that only kind of helped to maybe dismantle the situation that you were in. Um, but ultimately that was needed. It was a good thing because it taught you something, you know, and maybe it humbled you a little bit, yes? All right, Leo, we're gonna give this one more cleansing shuffle and then we'll see what we've got for you for the rest of your month, yeah? All right, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of October 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're giving this five shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got for you. For my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October 2019. What's going on for my Leos? That was number two. We have number three here. For my Leos for the month of October 2019. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, number four. And five. All right, here we go, Leo. Boop. Okay, overall energy, Leo, you are starting off with the high priestess. All right, so there is a good amount of unknown energy around you, but however, I feel like this is you stepping into a higher sense of wisdom. And that definitely, um, that definitely is in line with what I was picking up on before about changing your approach to how you're manifesting things, how you're manifesting something, slow and steady wins the race energy, being willing to, to, to not really rush it, but to, to more be patient about it. There, I'm getting with this, with this high priestess energy, there is a higher awareness of Ooh, I said, I wanted, I wanted to say what I heard was a higher awareness of source manifestation. Meaning a higher awareness of the process of manifesting through the universal energies more than just three-dimensional circumstances or um, processes, okay? That's really, that's really great, Leo. Underneath the High Priestess, you have the Ace of Swords. There is that clarity, that understanding, that aha moment, that epiphany. This is also even an energy of knowing what it is you want or coming to terms with what it is you want. Greater definement, 
uh, gosh, I was saying that all through the Cancerian reading, defilement. I don't even know if that's a right, if that's the right term or if it's even a word, but uh, having greater defined what it is you want out of life, what it is you want to manifest out of life, or at least going through the process of defining that, but doing it in a different way, doing it from the place of higher wisdom, universal wisdom, source energy, source wisdom, rather than just three-dimensional egoic human understanding or wisdom, yes? It's beautiful. Underneath the Ace of Swords, you have, wow, whoa, <laughs> the Ten of Swords. I told you, some of you have really been through some shit have really been through the ringer. But ultimately it has served a purpose and that purpose has served your highest good of learn, becoming a better master manifester, a master manifester, mastering the art of manifestation even better. Underneath the 10 of swords, you got the king of pentacles. Well manifested, ready to go. Sure of oneself too, sure of one's self as well. Abundance, prosperity, leadership, good business practice. Uh, but the King of Pentacles is really just saying, to me is just talking about how well manifested you are at this point, which is allowing you very, probably very well grounded too. Yes, practical in ways, but also with this high priestess energy, there's also a sense of universal wisdom that's really helping you to ground yourself is what I heard. But not only just ground yourself, but to manifest from a better place. Beautiful, Leo. All right, so let's get into the rest of your reading here. First half, second half of the reading. You could look at it as the first half and second half of your month. Take it as it resonates for you, yes? First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Leo, you have. There you go, the Six of Wands. Victory. Being able to take a victory lap, overcoming obstacles, absolutely overcoming obstacles with this Ten of Swords in your overall energy. Also with the Ace of Swords. The Six of Wands, also the Six of Wands is your energy, Leo. Pride. And in this case, this is not, this is not bad. This is, you have every right. If this is resonating with you, then really enter, on an energetic level, you have every right to be proud of yourself because you have overcome some serious obstacles, but you've become better for it. And you've learned a lot from it, <clears throat> okay? And it looks like you're, you're putting that, that wisdom to significant use for the betterment of society, for the betterment of yourself, for the betterment of your around, your environment, your family, what, whatever. Like you're, you're doing some pretty big and great things with it, Leo, and that's excellent. Six of Wands is coupled with justice. Yeah, this victory may have been long won. I'm sorry, uh, hard fought and long, a long time coming. But to be quite honest, what I'm feeling in this victory or this balance, this justice that's being brought into your life right now, I feel like this is of your own doing. This was not something, and this might, actually might have been why it had taken so long for you to, to achieve it or receive it. You may have been in a process in the past of waiting for or requiring others to bring some sort of, sort of justice into your life instead of taking the bull by the horns and saying, no, look, if I want justice in my life, I'm gonna have to be the one to do it. If I want victory in my life, I'm gonna have to be the one to bring it in. I can't rely on anyone else to do that for me. And yeah, that's kind of what the universe has been trying to tell us all along. But we disempower ourselves by putting all of that responsibility off into the shoulders of someone external to us and we give our power away and we set ourselves up for disappointment. Not anymore, Leo. Not for you, at least. That's beautiful. <clears throat> Second set of surrounding energies, Leo, in the first half of your reading, you have, hey now, the chariot. Ken Syrian energy also. Uh, yes, uh, the, the uh, justice is Libran, Libra energy. But the chariot here is you being set, uh, uh, having, uh, mm, really having, having worked on getting your emotions balanced and in check worked on understanding your emotions, worked on understanding how your emotions are your compass. That's all part of this uh, uh, higher manifesting ability or awareness that you've come into lately, which is now absolutely driving you forward. That's beautiful, Leo. The chariot is coupled with, woo, the devil. My, my.
I really feel like in the context of what's going on here, I really feel like you've broken yourself free from this devilish energy. And that's exactly what I was talking about because uh, uh, in terms of giving your power away to others, requiring others to, 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 to do certain things in order for you to feel happy or in order for you to have some sort of justice served in your life, that is extremely codependent. And what it feels like here, Leo, is that you have overcome this, this lesson in codependency that the devil brings forward and has set your trajectory, set your guidance system on what it is you want, and now you're taking the action to go get it. And that's beautiful. I love it, Leo. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, the Ace of Wands. Does, that's not, no, that's not too challenging. For some, I feel like this challenge is to define, have a greater definition as to whatever it is you're, you're, you're desiring. Um, now, in terms of, yes, okay, so in terms of all that, everything else that's going on here, you do have the Ace of Swords in your overall energy. To me, that's talking about the epiphany as to how to get, how to go about getting what it is you want. And that's a good thing. That's like the first step, okay? And getting yourself in alignment with that first step, with the chariot. So now the challenge here for you is to really start figuring out or uh, figuring out what you're passionate about, but I don't even wanna say figuring that out because I really, uh, what I really wanna say is the challenge is for you to now work your way into alignment with your passions if you don't know what those are already, or if those have changed in significant ways where you do have to kind of take some time to redefine them, or at least find what you're truly passionate about. For others of you, if you do have an idea of what you want to do, the, the, the challenge here is to follow through with it, to get started, to take action. But this doesn't feel like a bad challenge. This feels good. This, feels, this does feel very good, very much in alignment. There's no, there's no need or there's no sense of urgency. There's no need for a sense of urgency or something like that. It's all just flowing freely, and that's a good thing. Ace of Wands is coupled with, yes, the Page of Cups. There's the Page of Cups again. Find, to figuring out what it is that you're passionate about, getting in alignment with your passions, dreaming about it. Allow yourself to dream about these things. Daydreaming is so powerful, is so powerful. My phone just confirmed that for you. Boop. So allow yourself to daydream here. Get in tune with it. Get in touch with it, okay? Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Leo, you have, okay, the two of swords. Yes, all right, there is some indecisiveness here, all right? But for you, this feels like just getting into the alignment. You're progressing from the ace to the two, okay? So you have an epiphany. You've seen the truth, you've seen the light, and now it's time to work on getting greater definement to make some sort of decision. I don't feel like this is a refusal for you, Leo. I feel like this is a situation in which you just, you need more information or you need greater definement. Spirit keeps using that word, so I'm just gonna keep using it. I don't care if it's a real world word anymore or not. Because <laughs> ultimately, I think you guys get what I'm saying. <clears throat> okay, two of swords is coupled with the star. Ah, beautiful, beautiful, Leo. So, okay, in terms of not being able to make a decision because you don't have enough, enough information, sure, that makes perfect sense because you're just being guided by this one speck of light right now. Everything else around you might be pretty dark. That's okay. Darkness is just potential, okay? Um, keep following your guidance. Keep following your inner light. Keep following source. It will lead you to the right place. It will lead you to the right decision. It will help you. It will help you come to terms with something so that you can make a decision when the time is right, okay? Have faith. Have faith. The star is also wish fulfillment and healing too. Excellent, Leo. All right, so let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, Leo. You have the six of swords. Beautiful. Moving away from the past, moving from the past, heading towards the future, leaving rough waters behind. Ten of Swords is in your overall energy. These are those rough waters that we're talking about here. Moving from rougher waters to calmer waters. 
this is good. This could also be travel for some of you, but well, ultimately it is travel, whether it's energetic, mentally, or physically. Six of Swords is coupled with, okay, the Nine of Swords, all right. Um, but I do feel like you're moving away from anxiety. You're moving away from fears. You're moving away from doubt, trepidation. I don't know. You're moving away from all kinds of stuff that really no longer serves you. That's beautiful, Leo. For some of you, I am picking up that actually the, the, the fact that you are needing to, having to, or are moving away from something in the past or something of the past is causing you a little bit of, a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of fear. Um, it also has to do with this star energy and the two of swords, not being able to really see all that clearly. You don't necessarily know where you're going. You don't necessarily know how things are going to work out, blah, blah, blah. Don't give in to that fearful energy. It's not going to help you. It's only going to make things worse. It's only going to make the situation or the transition that much more challenging okay don't 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 worry about that all right second set of surrounding energies leo in the second half of your reading here is the world see good you're closing out some major cycles here and so yes that's where some of this fear can come into play because okay you really don't know what's coming next you really don't know what's going to happen on the other side of this cycle but there really isn't that much to be afraid of, especially if you've come to the understanding of a higher wisdom here that is influencing you to make this shift. It can only lead to your betterment. So you don't you really don't have to be afraid. And that's for those of you that are afraid. For others of you, you're actively moving away from this nine of swords, ten of swords energy and closing out these cycles, which is a good thing. The world is coupled with. There's that Knight of Pentacles again, slow and steady. You don't have to rush this. And also, to be honest, Leo, you don't want to rush this. You don't. You want to make sure that all the pieces are placed, are put in place, and they're, 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 they're put there well. They're not just like thrown together all willy-nilly, all hodgepodge and all that. No, we want, it, I mean, we want a solid foundation. We want a foundation or a structure that's really going to hold its integrity. We want something that is that is integrally sound, right? So don't rush, you can't rush this. There's no need to rush this. And also I don't feel like you wanna rush it really. I feel like you might really be okay with this slow and steady piece by piece pace you have going. And it may very well be that you learned that lesson from the past and saying, yeah, well, in the past when I really tried to rush things and whatnot, whatever, it really did not go well. It blew up in my face, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. Uh, I'm a little older now. It's a new day. We don't have to do things the same way we used to. I'm not so afraid of missing out or losing what, whatnot, whatever. So you know what, universe? Let's just do this slowly but surely. And the universe is like, you got it, my friend. <laughs> Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Leo, the Ace of Pentacles, starting anew. The challenge is reaching, I, I really feel like the challenge is reaching this new level, this new start. You have three Aces here, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. And with the ace, when it's in terms of the Ace of Pentacles, especially with the, the world and the Knight of Pentacles here, accompanying this in the second half of your reading. The challenge here is to bring this new understanding, this new wisdom, this new manifestation into the physical. Now, technically, technically, it would be a challenge just because it's what you're working on. But I'm not saying that it, it doesn't feel like a challenge in the sense that, you know, it, there's really something obstructing it. No, I mean, no. There's nothing, it's not that something's obstructing this, it's just that this is what you're working on. Okay, we're closing out this cycle, we have this new understanding of what we want or what reality is, of what creation is. Okay, so now let's bring this into fruition. Now let's bring this into the physical. More confirmation. I should probably put that on vibrate. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles is coupled with the King of Cups. 
Uh, okay, I'm hearing some of you are manifesting a divine partnership. Um, for others of you, this King of Cups, ah, this King of Cups is definitely, a, I'm seeing a progression from the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups being the, the new dream, yeah, the dreamer energy coupled with the Ace of Wands, that is the inspiration, the fire to get moving, to get started, to manifest your, to manifest what you're passionate about, to manifest your spiritual soul desires, to manifest what you're dreaming about, right? Now this progress goes uh, goes on and on and on and eventually it matures king of cups into a physical manifestation ace of pentacles. Does that make what that makes sense? That is your challenge in the second half of the reading. Okay, that makes perfect sense. And again, I really do not feel like there's anything obstructing this. You might feel like there are things obstructing something obstructing this just because of this two of swords star energy there's a little bit of unsuredness maybe some indecisiveness but that's just because of a lack of visibility right now everything is not completely clear even though you have this this knowledge high priestess you have and the star and the ace of swords you have this knowledge of knowing you need to go in a certain direction or knowing you need to to start manifesting something something new and yet it's still not quite that specific yet, that's okay. You just have to give it time to manifest, or to, to, to mature. Which is why it is so important that you spend your time, you spend some quality time really dreaming, really dreaming about what it is you're looking to manifest, what it is you're passionate about, what is this new endeavor, this new desire, this new passion project that is bubbling up for you. Yes? Very good, Leo. Very, very good. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Leo, in the second half of your reading. You've got the Four of Pentacles now. That's interesting. Letting go of something, or is it holding on to your vision? Four of Pentacles is coupled with the Emperor. I would say absolutely holding on to your vision. Standing your ground, Leo. Very much so. Standing your ground. The Emperor is Aries energy, okay? But it's also uh, a leader, someone that knows what they want, someone that's not afraid to go after it, someone that is the master of their, own, their domain, someone that is very much in their power. And use, I'm hearing it, using it for the, to the advantage of others, not just for themselves, okay? Someone that is definitely balanced in their emperor energy is very much looking out for their people, their followers, their environment, whatever. I'm also getting an energy of staying true to who you are, Leo. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's get to the oracle section here for you, Leo. Let's close out this reading for you. For my Leos, for their month of October here. All right, Leo, let's see what we've got for you. For the month of October, closing message, please, spirit. There it is. Card number 40. Queen of the Dark Wood Elves. Premonition, foreshadowing, mystery. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Sometimes there is a stirring, a shimmering movement, subtle but unmistakable, in the web called weird, or word, weird, I think it's weird, that connects us all. This is one such time. The queen of the Darkwood Elves has come forth to speak with you and ask you to be aware that something is approaching. When she appears, there is a kind of foreboding and unsettling energy, akin to when a storm is gathering its power. There is a very potent force readying itself in your life. 
And while its impact is yet to be truly felt and experienced, it is best to be ready to ready yourself now. So when this card comes, make your good defenses. Tend to injuries and wounds, be they psychic, mental, or physical. Take care of unfinished business and bring in whatever you can. Gather up resources and be ready for when the moment strikes and descends upon you. Because something that was unexpected could have harmed you, could have taken you unaware. Oh, because something was unexpected, could have harmed you, could have taken you un unaware. But you now are forewarned. And truth be told, you are now forearmed. There is no cause to be scared, frightened, or anxious. This card indicates that you have time to prepare, grow stronger, and meet whatever it is that's coming face on. You will move through the time you are now warned of, and you will be even stronger due to the challenge. But make no mistake, there is a challenge coming, and you can now prepare to minimize its impact and ride out the intense wave of energy it brings into your life. Okay. Ooh. That was, I'm not going to lie, that was slightly unsettling, but you know what? Ultimately, with everything else that came out here, I feel like this is definitely a good thing. All right, so there you have it, Leo. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the email, all of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of November. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!